Ooh, it looks like we got a couple over here flirting and trying to get away from everybody. My apologies. We'll leave y'all be. Welcome back, my little boobalas. I hope you are all having a very Merry Christmas. Guys, I just got done recording just a little very short Christmas episode of our Minecraft Taz series. And you guys know I could not let Christmas go by without, without recording something for Rising World. So, although we didn't get around to doing our Rising World Christmas Town, because, you know, like I said in the, um, it's all, all in the details episode, I've been forgetting a lot of the details. The little details in the game that really make your towns and your worlds feel alive. And so I've been concentrating on those. So we're going to do just a quick little tour of what's going on here in Turdville show you guys the Christmas decorations and you know next episode we'll get deeper into things but for now that's where we're going with this okay now out here of course you guys know we always had the wagon well saloon out here but again it was one of the things we had just kind of forgotten all about the details so now we've got this wagon these horses out here we've got this guy out here enjoying him a cold one out by the little pond just chilling and back there we're going to be building something special over the next few episodes not starting today but starting the next episode so we're going to wait to show you guys that for a little bit oh we've got some more horses out here we've got a supply wagon we've got troughs troughs for the horses to get a drink and of course our moonshine still back here it needed a little attention so we've got the barrels back here we've got another supply wagon and inside we now have a pretty bartender behind the bar we've got this guy over here kind of makes me nervous with those guns so mm -hmm. we've got some beautiful saloon girls here you know for anybody that um <clears throat> needs a little company <laughs> and we've got the out of town cowboy standing over here and see they're violating the rules though see for the safety of our patrons cowboys are requested to leave your guns at the bar they are violating our rules but uh, we'll let them slide it's Christmas and over here we finally got our building supply place built Bill's Lumber and Building Supplies. For those of you who are wondering who Bill is, um, Bill was my granddaddy, and he worked very hard his whole life. Ran a dozer business, among other things. So this seemed seemed appropriate for him. This in Yant Mining, our Yant Mining operation, his last name was Yant. So. But we have been busy putting in cranes over here for picking up and loading up, you know, the heavy orders. And let's get my... Hmm. There we go. I was going to say, why is it not swapping over? Get my sword out of my hand. That's not, you know, very pleasant or Christmassy. And we've got this place with, you know, different pallets and, and, and glass panels and stuff. We've got some travelers over there. It looks like they're about to head out toward Gray's place. Hmm. And inside, we've got bukus of storage. And this will be where, um, which I've already put some in here. Like when you have, anybody playing on the server, when you have too many um, blocks you've made or beams or whatever, you can come put it in here I'm organizing all of them right now but and they'll be here in case somebody else on the server you know needs anything they come over here first kind of take a look around and see if what they need is here 
And we got this cute little birdie out here. He's out here digging for worms. And, of course, you guys know about the mining camp over here, the church, the blacksmith shop, and, of course, the server horses, the workshop. And as you guys can see, I've been trying to put the details in. We've got hay bales out here now at our farm supply store. Um, we've got the grills out here for sale for anybody who needs them. We've got some displays in the windows, like that nice uh, planter that looks like a boot with those pretty plants in it. We've got John Boy over here who runs this place. How you doing today, John? We've got our advertisements. We've got flowers. Mm -hmm. We got cans of dog food and cat food back there. We've just we've got all kinds of nice little goodies in here for sale so and of course as you guys know what this place actually is is anybody on the server that's needing like the seedlings and the saplings and stuff they can come in here pick them up um we've even got some extra water buckets extra tools so just kind of taking care of our server players and we got a little christmas spirit going on around here a little bit and of course, back here, of course, is the courthouse. We got a little Christmas going on around here, too, guys. And let's go on in here. Shut that. And we've got Nancy back here. She is one of our county clerks. She helps run the courthouse. Gretchen here, she's a I don't know. She she's kind of one of those busybodies that likes to hang around the courthouse and gossip a little bit. So yeah, that that that's her. In here for the lawyers to give consultations to any clients that are about to go over here to see the judge. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm hmm. I hear you, Gretchen. I hear you. Keep on with that gossip, girl. Go on. And of course, back here we have our sheriff's department. The paddy wagon, of course. And Turville Sheriff's Department, Sheriff Rick Grimes on duty. And there's our handsome sheriff standing guard over our prisoner back here, Mr. Jesse James. Hi, Jesse. How you doing? And our post office over there, I still have not finished. I sincerely apologize, guys. That is one of the next things on my list to get done. Now, of course, over here, we've got our little main street. And we've got the Turville skillet. Homemade pies. Mm -hmm. Delicious pies. Served hot. And they've gotten into the Christmas spirit, too. A tree? Wreath? All right, then come in oh this lady's over here enjoying her that looks like some cheesecake mm. yeah i want some of that and we've got our cook back here i still haven't decided what we're gonna call her but she's been putting out a little christmas in here too got a cute little gingerbread house a little candle with the deer and the tree we've got a rug down here i think it actually looks pretty well in here we've got a few paintings up and then, of course, we've got our ads, you know, fresh milk, Coke. Always got to advertise some Coke, right? Root beer. And we've got our pots and pans hanging back here. All that good stuff. Dishes. And I need, there's a few more things we need to get and stock up and put on these shelves. We need to make sure all these places are stocked very well. And this lady, I'm not sure what we're going to call her yet, but, you know, she's back here keeping the grill going. She She's cooking. We've got our bird feeder back here, and these guys back here enjoying them a nice Christmas dinner. We've got our nice little pavilion back here, our little gazebo to come take a load off and just relax and enjoy. Of course, we've got our little town orchard and garden over here. And, of course, over here, we've got the general store. A little bird up there going to land on something. 
this guy looks like he's happy with whatever purchases he had. Mm -hmm. Got lots of goods out here for sale. And they've got a little Christmas spirit going on too. Look at the wreath, huh? Let's see what all we got in here. Oh yeah, we've gotten a few more goodies mm -hmm. in since the last time we were in here. We've got Mr. Olsen tending the store. It's starting to come together, guys. It is. Turdville is starting to come together. It's starting to feel more alive and more of the way I always envisioned it. Now, if you guys are wondering how, you know, I'm getting these people, I'm sure if you're a veteran Minecraft, uh, Minecraft, blah, Rise of World Player, you already know how I'm doing it. It's posters. Uh, posters, I have discovered, have become one of my favorite, favorite things as far as putting in the little added details, you know? And here we've got Turdville Tailoring. I think I showed you guys this place the last time, but just in case, here's our nice seamstress. Mm. We've got spools of thread over here, and I think at some point I'm going to put um, a set of shelves back here with thread that's actually for sale. And, of course, there's the Turdville Hotel. Definitely got some Christmas spirit going on out here. Look at this. A matter of fact, let me get a little quick screenshot. <laughs> and this guy, he's out here having him a nice cup of coffee. Just, you know, chilling. We got this pooch sitting out here, standing guard. Pretty little thing. And I have put curtains up in a lot of the buildings. I think it just kind of gives it that extra touch, you know? And we've got our nice rugs in here now. We've got all our paintings. We finally got our kitchen finished. We've got a proper kitchen for cooking in to serve the guest in the hotel. Got a few paintings up here. A few little closets and shelves, you know, to hold the extra bed linen, stuff like that. Our kitty cat sitting up here playing, having a good time. And I could have sworn we had a painting right there. Where did it go? Hmm. Maybe I didn't put it up. Maybe I just thought I did. Oh, we've got this pretty little painting right here. A couple more on those walls. Put these nice gold, peachy gold colored curtains in these windows. All of the guest rooms have those little brown curtains in them. We've got some Christmas garland hanging out here. A little tree. Nice little balcony area for our guests to come sit and relax. Okay. Woohoo. Yeah, I kind of think those blue curtains went really good down here with these blue rugs. I don't know. What do you guys think? Y'all y'all kind of let me know. Does it look like it's coming together to y'all? What are some other ideas? Now, we do need to put us a receptionist back here at some point. We will get around to doing that. Oh, and uh, the upstairs. Upstairs of Mr. Olsen's store, his apartment mm -hmm. up here. Mm -hmm. That's right, Mr. Olsen. Mm -hmm. We just went ahead and put him some curtains in up here. I really need to focus on some more of the little details up here as well. I don't know, unless we should make Mr. Olsen like a minimalist. Mm. I, I don't know. And up in the attic there, that's where I'm storing, like, the town decorations. You know, the Halloween decorations, the Christmas decorations. Hmm. Mr. Olsen said he was fine with allowing us to, to use his attic for town storage. So, we're all good there. We've got the tannery over here. You guys have seen it before. They didn't really do a whole lot for Christmas. Just a little tree, a little present, a wreath. But, hmm. hey, at least they got in the town town spirit we got the big tree over here a uh, little tree here outside the turville welcome center and then this end of town didn't really get to get to christmas very much but you guys will notice these are pretty much um multiple new builds out this way and let me go ahead and pull my sword because for some reason we've had a lot of bandits out this way lately. I've got to finish fencing this town in to kind of slow that down a little bit. But here we have the Turdville Gazette, our local paper. And inside, 
we've got the owner, Joseph. And Joseph here, I actually named him after a man that had a very big impact on my childhood. Um, Mr. Joseph Sutton. So that's who he's named after. But he's got his print and press back there, his paper press. You know, we kind of went over some of this the last time. His kitty cat up there hiding and watching everything that goes on. And he's got himself a little apartment upstairs. I think I gave you guys a glimpse of it the last time, maybe. Or that may have been over on the Sam Dreams channel. Possibly. I'm getting, I've got too much going on. I'm getting confused. <laughs> but he's got some curtains up in here now. He's got a place for his clothes, a place to lay his head, a little place to sit. We really need to focus on the details in this room as well. I hear that old bear out there, old Yogi Raisin Cane. Oh, and do I have... Yeah. I got some stuff on me to quench my thirst. Whoop, whoop. I'm a class today, y'all. Mm -hmm. You didn't have to agree with that, Joseph. And he's got a nice little little bench to sit on back here. I think we're going to put him like a little picnic table and stuff out here at some point. Nice little outhouse back here. And next door is the Tarville Farmer's Market. And we've got, you know, several things we can purchase from our vendors here. Hmm. I thought I heard a person walking around. Hmm. And the other day, while I was working on this, our little um, dairy stand, you know, we've got cheese, we've got cheese wedges, cheese wheels, we've got milk, we, we got a little bit of everything over here. But I was over here working on this, and all of a sudden I hear something ding off this guy's head, and it was a bandit was standing over there shooting at me, but kept hitting him in the head. <laughs> I felt kind of bad for the guy. And, of course, we've got this little area, you know, we've got strawberries, we've got cake, we've got watermelon, we got corn, uh, we got jars of honey. We got all kinds of goodies at our little farmer's market for sale. Hello there, goat. There's some more jars of honey. Some green apples. You enjoying your uh, apple there? I hope so. We've got books for sale, of course. I'm going to have, you know, a book vendor. You guys already knew this. Watermelon, 20 cents. Lemon, 10 cents. Books, 15 cents. We've got honey, we've got jar, uh, jars, bottles of wine. We got a little bit of everything going on. Got a little food vendor here. They're back here set up with their bread and their cheese and their sausages. So yeah, it's, it's coming along, guys. Of course, the little house on the prairie house, the Ingalls house, that's been there a while. And so it's this cabin. This is new, though. We've got our stagecoach out here. And we've got the Turdville Park. Somebody rode their bicycle in. we got a little tricycle out here. Nice little grilling and sitting gazebo for those who want to come enjoy a nice little picnic here at the park. We got some benches out here. Oh, it looks like we got a couple over here flirting and trying to get away from everybody. My apologies. We'll leave y'all be. And, of course, we got some kids out here that are just, you know, waiting to swing. Got this lady with her baby. There's a little tricycle. And this guy, he just shows up everywhere, don't he? And this is the welcome sign. As soon as you come in the main entrance of Turdville, we wanted everybody to feel welcome here. So, here we go. Got some little fishies in there in the pond. Got some nice flowers around and some lanterns to kind of light it all up. So, yeah, guys, I've been doing a lot of work behind the scenes. Just trying to, like I said, put in the details. 
the details that really count. And we're going to be doing a lot more of that. So we're probably going to be in Turdville for a while before we move back over to Bubula Hills and some of the other projects I've already started. And we're going to start paying attention to the details in, in all of these builds and in all of these towns. So I just kind of feel like that's kind of important, you know? But guys, I'm going to get out of here for right now. Thanks for stopping by. It is very, very much appreciated. Guys, as always, keep reaching for the stars and aiming high. Do it every day. Every day, guys, okay? And, you know, most of all, a very Merry Christmas to all of you. Bye, guys.